Hi friends, Joe Edelman here with a special mini lesson focused on a question that I get asked often, which is how does Johnny Greenwood make that sound in the song House of Cards? The answer may surprise you unless you read the King of Gears website as religiously as I do. The sound in question is a very ethereal and reverberated sustain that glides around melodically. Johnny achieves this effect using the edge of a serrated coin by rubbing it back and forth across the string above the fret of the desired note, as well as sliding way up the strings for those impossible notes beyond the frets and sound effect glissandos. He typically adds a boatload of reverb and short delay from his boss space echo pedal. It's important to distinguish this one-handed trick from Johnny's use of an actual cello bow during songs like Pyramid Song and Burn the Witch, where he's using the bow more traditionally as a means of exciting the strings, and then he's fretting notes or harmonics normally with his left hand. It's also different from Ed's e-bow and sustainer pickup usage, both of which are mainly for just actuating the strings, not affecting pitch. Furthermore, House of Cards was not the first appearance, and may in fact be the latest appearance of this trick. He previously used versions of it in songs like High and Dry, Exit Music, early versions of How to Disappear Completely, and Morning Bell. So let me break this trick down for you a little bit further, starting first without the space echo engaged. I'm using a US quarter, and I'm going to start rubbing it on the A string at around the 13th fret. You can hear how this sounds a little bit disjointed and it's not very smooth. Again, it might take a little bit to get comfortable with the uh, motion. You're not pressing super hard into the string, you're kind of just gliding right above that fret and sawing back and forth. Kind of like a tremolo picking, but it doesn't have to be super fast, just kind of you want to practice to get it smooth. And now you're going to really hear the sound come together when I add in the space echo, which I have the dry signal turned off, so you're actually only hearing the reverb and the delay which kind of makes a very smooth pad-like sound. So here we go, I'm gonna step on the space echo. And so you already can hear that's a lot closer to the sound on the record. Now if I start gliding around, if I glide down the string to another fret, And there you have it. My friend Corey did an excellent job with this trick on Burn Holiday's covers of Exit Music and House of Cards from our OK Computer and In Rainbows tribute sessions, which you should definitely check out if you haven't already. Hopefully you found this helpful. I'll definitely make some more of these quick tip type videos in the future. Like Johnny's delay pedal moves, I think this is a fantastic and creative little trick worth trying out in your own music as well. For now, be well, be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you again soon.